His career's team looks different from recent weeks, you know, fluid chemistry. What's changed? Would you say with this surgery all of this? I would say our just our resiliency. Like even when we get down and things don't go our way, like we still find a way to win. And um I think we've won every single game. We've held our opponents under 84. So 74 is really good for us. And um, especially in that fourth quarter, like we just played really good defense. We were switching, we we're communicating. Uh, but I think just obviously you can you can start to tell like we're just getting more comfortable overall playing with each other, our chemistry, you know where our teammates are going to be, and then also just setting our teammates up for success, like put them in positions that they can be successful in. And I think we've we've done a better job of that. Let's go here. Carol, keep that door open. Carol, you kind of caught up from here. What kind of went right for you in this difference? I'm just trying, like I said, I try to stay in rhythm, rhythm based on how our game is going and uh, what we need as a group. Um, obviously, I want to stay aggressive, but I just try to, like I said, fill the gaps uh, based on how these guys play and just kind of be, be utilized on that backside just in case they need me. And at that point, just find whatever play you can make. Yeah, Aliyah, you had a double double by halftime, and I believe a new career high and rebounds. Just what was working for you on court. Um, I think I was just trying to make sure that I'm able to rebound the ball, be in the best position for my teammates. I think to start the game, um, they did a great job getting me post touches early on. And then outside of that, just making sure I rebound and I finish my putbacks. No, front row. Into a season and a half of being a professional. I feel like it might be, um, but I feel like I've also gotten better. Um, from my rookie season to now, just continue to be consistent. And I think that's the biggest thing that I need to be able to do for my teammates. Okay, when you pass on for a second more time now, it's my rookie Ooh. season. Yeah. And you do it in Minneapolis where you obviously have a lot of fond memories here. What does that mean to you? Does that add any sort of sentimental value to do that in this building? Not really. Um, probably something I won't remember. Um, I don't know. That's cool. Yep. You are so funny, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, far side. yeah, just playing in Minnesota, you obviously you're going to come back here against them again, and you said the memorial we talked about before the game, but I think it's now 9-0 in terms of your time in college and as and in like the Big Ten tournaments in Minneapolis. Just what's got you right about this city? Well, the fans. The fans are awesome, man. I mean, how many Fever fans were here? It seemed like a lot of Fever yeah, fans. Are you saying there are a lot of Fever fans there here? There were a lot of Fever fans. Yeah, there were a lot of Fever fans. They were cheering, going crazy. Um a lot of people that probably uh, supported when I was here playing with Iowa, but I don't know. It's it's a great it's a great venue. Target Center is awesome. Um, I mean, I just I remember like when I was here for uh, in college, like the, the people were lined up like overnight to try to get in the door, and like they just love women's basketball. The city supports supports women's basketball. Obviously, the history here and what the links have been able to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess maybe there's a little magic in here. Who knows? Just knock on wood because we do come back. 